to this special, special episode of From the Suggestion Box. I am so thrilled to have some wonderful colleagues joining me tonight as we talk about the experience of being an Alive Impact Award winner. So we're just gonna kind of go around the room, introduce ourselves, and we're gonna talk about the experience in hopes that you see yourself here because you are good enough. And we want to talk about how we felt when we went through it, the surprise and the honor when we found out we were nominated, and even on top of that, to find out that we were actually award winners. So I'm just gonna go around the room and I'm just gonna have everybody introduce themselves. So I'm gonna start with Susan, welcome. Thank you, Nicole. Um, I am with the Arizona Bar Foundation. Um, we just shortened our name. We were the Arizona Foundation for Legal Services and Education. And I was a recipient in 2019, and it was an amazing experience. So we can share that later, but that's that's me. I love it. I love it. Okay, Carrie. Hey, everyone. My name is Carrie Hart, and I work at Bay Health Medical Center and here in Dover, Delaware, and I received my award in 2021. Oh, so you're like one of our most recent ones. Nice. I'm a newbie. Love it. Love it. <laughs> And Rebecca. Hi, everyone. My name's Rebecca Hand, and I'm with Buckner International here in the Dallas, Texas area. And I won my award in 2020. Wonderful. And Marsha, tell us about you. I'm Marsha Hale. I'm with the Hillsboro Public Library in Hillsboro, Oregon, and I won my award in 2021. Nice, another newbie. And uh, my name is Nicole Smith, and I was an award winner um, in the same year as Rebecca was in 2020. So let's talk about it, ladies. So how did you even find out that you were nominated, or did you find out that you were nominated? I'm trying to remember. I think that I knew the process was happening, but did not know that I had been nominated for the award that I had been nominated for. So <clears throat> I was completely surprised when I, um, when I won the award and was so thrilled. And I nominated her for 2019. And I think that there's just as much excitement for someone winning an award that you nominated them for than, than you winning. So it's been, it was a fun two years. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because y'all had it back to back. So that yeah. is awesome. And I have to agree with you. One of the people who I nominated won one year and it was just like, oh, that's so great. So yeah. be thinking about that. Be thinking about that. Um, <laughs> anybody else, do you remember where you were when you found out that you were nominated? Or did you know? Mine was kind of a funny experience because my executive director came and said, I hate to tell you this, but we're nominating you and we don't have an answer to this question. So we need your help in answering this question. And I said, oh, okay, I guess I'm being nominated for an award. And then she kind of shared with me, but really never expected. And can I tell you how exciting it is? Because I won it in 2019. So I got to judge the 2020 and the 2021 people. And you all were people that I not many that I really gave the points to. So it is a thrill to be here and see your faces and know, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm with all the winners. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to judge your, your nomination form. So congratulations, you really did. Well, thank you. I know you. I read that's all about you. <laughs> <laughs> that's so exciting. Oh, that's so great. That's so great. Oh my goodness. Um, yes, because one of the, what some people don't know is one of the opportunities that you have is when you win, you have the opportunity to help judge for the upcoming year. And um, so I had that opportunity for the, for the 2021 people and was able, I was so fascinated by the talent that is out there. And it is a difficult choice because everybody is so awesome in so many different ways. And they come from so many different niches and Man, but I learned about so many people and um, new colleagues that I have now, even just because I went through that judging process, I was able to make new connections. And it's, it really is something to be said. It's, it's one thing to win, but then to be on the other hand of like helping to pave the way to make greatness happen for somebody else. There's just something special about it. Something special about it. Carrie, you were going to say something. 
Um, I found out kind of like Susan because my colleague Angela William Williamson, who you, I think you know Nicole, yeah, um, from Dehava, nominated me, and I got this email from her, and she's like, "Okay, I'm nominating you for the Alive Award, but I need your help on this question and that question, and da 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 da." And I was so it was an honor to be nominated by someone as phenomenal as Angela Williamson. She is just. I fangirl about her all the time. All day. So it it's just such an honor to be here with you guys as well. Since Re Rebecca, I, you know, attend all your webinars for the Texas conference and stuff. So this is a very niche fangirl moment for me. But <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. I love it. I love it. I love it. And Marcia, do you remember? Well, I kind of nominated myself. Um, yes, yeah. ma'am. It's actually, I'm, I'm nearing the end of my uh, work life, I hope. And I uh, kind of wanted this feather in my cap. And I actually um, was going to do it in 2020 and then, or maybe it was 2019, I don't know, whenever it was. And it just didn't happen because um, I actually didn't want to, I didn't want to really submit the nomination under my own name. And my boss actually said, oh, I'd love to nominate you. Um, just answer the questions for me and I'll send it in. So basically, and she didn't get around to it the first year. And so finally, the second year, I kind of said, hey, um, I'm going to make this real easy for you. I'm going to complete all of this. I just need you to do whatever you want to do to it. And so finally, I you know finished it for her and she submitted it. So Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because that just reaffirms what I have been trying to tell people. Like sometimes we have to toot our own horn, right? We have to let people know what we're doing and the things that we're doing and that, you know, don't be afraid. It is not, it is not arrogance to feel that you are worthy of being recognized. Um, I know a lot of times we have a hard time talking about ourselves, but if you ever feel bad about that, just listen to Karina Sadler. She'll get you over that, like in a heartbeat. But, and it, it's not being arrogant. It's being proud of what you have accomplished. And because we all know that our profession um, doesn't really get a lot of recognition a lot of times that people don't understand the types of things that we do, put it out there. Um, look at it as another way and another opportunity for a professional development opportunity because there is a cash prize that comes along with it that you actually get to use for professional development. So with that being said, what did you use your prize money for? Susan, I will start with you. What did you use your prize money for? Well, it just so happened that I was up for recertification with my CVA. So I used some of it for that. I've used some of it for um, volunteer pro uh, classes, webinars, whatever, and um, just some other professional development, but I target it always for professional development. Awesome. Awesome. Rebecca, what did you use yours for? I used mine for um, some learning materials. Um, I was interested in broadening my <clears throat> my frame of reference about, about volunteer engagement to look at it from a human resources perspective. And so I bought materials to kind of review that through the Society of Human Resources Management. Hey. Love that. Love that. Marsha, how about you? Well, I haven't used it all yet. I paid for my points of light virtual registration for it. And I'm going to, um, I have to recertify for CVA this year. So I'll use it for that. And I'll have a little bit of money left over. And I'm going to... Um, pay for a uh, pay for a course in another certification um, module on um, it's it's kind of an HR track but it's it's more learning development it's like doing online learning and that type of thing awesome love it and Carrie I did the Harvard Business Review leadership virtual conference it was a one-day conference and since I actually couldn't attend on that day I had my um, one of my staff people attend that day live, and then I just 
I've been watching everything following. So we kind of got a two for one on that. Oh, beautiful. Sharing the love. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I actually was able to get a membership to um, women of color in the arts. Um, it's a, it's an organization that just really tries to help further um, and connect women of color in the arts. So I was able to um, get a subscription to that as well as it helped to pay for my book to help me study for the CVA. It was important for me to ask how it was used because I think at the very least, when it comes time to nominate, and even if you, like we were talking about before, you're like, oh, but I don't, I'm not worthy or I, whatever that is, put all that aside. And hey, this is an opportunity to get some funds for my professional development. So look at it as that, as a professional development opportunity. And the only way we're going to know, well, not the only way, but one of the ways that we could find out is to uh, is for you to nominate yourself, especially because as you have heard so many people on here say, the nomination almost got ruined because people were like, oh, I wanna nominate you, but I don't know any of this other stuff. I know that you're awesome at what you do, but I kind of need to figure all this out. So one of the great things that I wanted to announce and tell everybody is that this year we're making the nomination process just a little bit easier. Um, and that way people can nominate more people and they don't have to go through the whole like, hey, by the way, can you, you know, it's going to be more of, let's say I nominate Susan. Susan will get an email saying, Nicole thinks you're amazing and has nominated you. Please fill out this information so that we can learn more about you. Then that way you can tell your story through your eyes and really put everything in there. Um, and that way it also helps for the people who are nominating to not have to kind of be like, hey, because you know what, we're, we're doing it anyway. <laughs> so this way, it just helps us to spread the word a little bit more and make it easier for the person who is nominating. So I think that's a really exciting change. And um, I really encourage everybody, like we said, the nominations will be going live August 1st. So start thinking now about colleagues and I'm charging everybody, we all know at least five people who are rock stars in our profession. And especially now, if all I have to say is this person should be nominated, let's get the word out there. Let's lift each other up. Let's um, elevate each other and really um, shine the light on each other in this profession and, and highlighting the profession because the more people see, hey, they got the certification, I mean, they got this award. It's like, oh, what is that for? It opens up the door and it opens up the opportunity for you to be able to talk about um, volunteer engagement and how awesome it is and how it relates to SHRM and, you know, the correlations and, and all of these things, because the more and more we talk about it, the more people are going to respect it, the more people are going to understand it. And it's just, it can only strengthen the profession on a whole. So I also want to give a shout out to Tim Suda, who um, I don't think he could be here tonight, but he shared that he used his um, award funds um, to have a training for his program as a whole, as opposed to just what he was going to use. Um, so he, he brought that to his organization as a, um, a wider effective development, which I think is so, so cool. So if there's you know, if you have a hard time thinking about, about like, well, how would I use this, this funding, which there are so many opportunities to, if you could think about how this could impact your organization, if you brought that funding to them. Yes. Yes. I mean, imagine the impact from Better Impact because that, that's who is sponsoring the award. Did you see what I did there? Yes. So it, it can be, and I love that, Becca, because we've seen like how it helped the individual. We've seen how it helped a small group and we see how and we saw how it um, helped a large group. So the and the possibilities are endless. And if we are all collectively helping the organism um, the profession, we are helping each other rise. We are mm -hmm. helping each other rise. And I'll also say you can buy tickets to the Texas Volunteer Management Conference. So <laughs> that that's one way to share the wealth. How did winning the award 
impact your career? Marcia, I'll start with you. You know, I've, I've really struggled with how to answer that question. Um, I guess it, it just, it validated, you know, it's one more way just to say, yes, I do know what I'm doing and I've been doing this a really long time. And for me, it was a capstone. Mm. I, um, I've been in and out of this career for over 25 years. And I, um, you know, I've, I, I was mentored by very early on by Susan Ellis and oh, wow. Susan has, has passed. I like to think I'm still the annoying voice in the room saying we are important. Um, we, we do know what we're doing. We need to be honored. We are professionals in a field that is not understood. But yet y'all say you need these volunteers, but you all don't very often value the people who make that program work for your organizations. So it's one of, it was just for me, it was one of those other ways aside from having a CBA, which I think is, you know, sadly not widely understood or embraced. Um, it's just another way I can point on the wall and go, no, actually I do know what I'm doing. <laughs> there are people who said that they agreed with me that I know how I do this. <laughs> um, and it was just, I guess, one of those more, I, I, a little ways that I can, you know, because we can't get a degree in this. We can right. get a certification. Um, and I'm in a, in a library situation where it seems to be all about the degrees. So, you know, this was, this was nice to have a thing on the wall besides my CVA, which no one understands. But it's so beautiful, right? Because people are like, what is that? And you're like, oh, well, let me tell you about it. Yes. <laughs> It's another way that we get to you know, educate. And, and whether you nominate yourself or not, again, because it is all about blowing your own horn. And, you know, when you're younger, it's really hard to do that. And as you get older, it's much easier to be the elder statesman in the room, so to speak, and to be um, and to feel OK about what you know and how you know it. And I think that um, for me, it was just, it was a way to say, yeah, you know what, I actually do what I'm doing and I love what I'm doing and I'm good at it. And I think for other people, awards seem to seem to be easier to explain to someone than the certification is. Yeah, when someone sees the word national award, I had people coming out of the woodworks asking about this award and congratulating me. And they surely had no idea what this award was. They just weren't familiar with our field. But so it was really cool to be able to expose other people to um, this opportunity as well that otherwise wouldn't have known about it. I love it. I love it. Susan, how did it impact you? Um, well, to tell you the truth, it, it really launched a lot of different opportunities for me because I'm kind of like Marsha. I've been doing, I've been at the foundation for 26 years. I did volunteer work before for nine years before that. So I wanted something, I wanted something that really would show that I'm not just doing this to get through the day or whatever. I'm just, this is really important to me. And it, it was important to share it with everyone I worked with. We're a real small organization, but we do statewide work. So after this was one, the people that I work with, and I've worked with some of them for 10, 15 years, they were like so excited. And they're like, now we understand what you do. Now we understand that we can ask you to do this. We can, and at the time I was wearing a lot of hats. So, you know, like we all do. And now after the award, I am now strictly doing volunteer recruitment, retention, everything. We have hired people to take off the other things off my plate. And it felt really, really good to be able to do that, to, to say, finally, finally, after all this time, I am doing what I really want to do and what I planned on doing. I love the other part of what I did, but it interfered with how I could grow and do this. So, and I believe that it was really important when we became part of the Service Enterprise Initiative um, through Points of Light, our organization mm -hmm. was certified that they knew that that was part, that I'd been awarded that, that I had my CVA, that was really important to them. So it really, like I said, it just launched a lot of other opportunities 
that were probably wouldn't have happened without it. That is awesome. That is so phenomenal. Oh, I love that. Carrie, how about you? So like most of you guys uh, in this room, so to speak, I've been in volunteer services for 20 years now. And I believe this was my first award that I ever won for volunteer service and management. And so being able to have my boss post on the internal Facebook that we have at the hospital, because there's 4,000 people in the system and have my boss post on there, you know, congratulations on this award and have all of the C-suite members who, you know, may not even know my name, recognize me and congratulate me for that award was very meaningful, even for my boss who runs diagnostic imaging, which is x-ray and MRI. So he has no idea what I do. So to have him say, you know, like, thank you, good job, we're proud of you. It, it was one of the highlights of my year, just to have that recognition from those people, because so many people think, oh, you just sit there and you talk to people all day. You have little volunteers in a jar that you sprinkle water on and you bring them out when I need them. And that's all you do. So just that little recognition meant the world to me. That is amazing. I, oh, I love hearing all of these stories. I know, I believe it was Tim who, um, he got a little write up in the local newspaper and got, you know, exposure that way. So it's just so great. It is just so great. And I can never, I cannot thank Better Impact enough for, um, for seeing the importance of this and putting literally putting like their money where their mouth is and like you all deserve this and we want to help you further what you're doing and here's a little cash to help you do it <laughs> you know like it always helps i mean the certificate's nice but let me tell you that green helps a lot too so um no but that's really really exciting really uh, i'd love to hear how it impacted every one of you all that's that is beautiful